Hello everyone, today I will introduce to you some basic operations for the attribute tables within LiDAR 360 MLS. If we have already drawn the vector, we can select any vector object through the vector selection function and the software can open the attribute table corresponding to the current vector object by default. Or we can right click each layer and there is an attribute table option. So to open the attribute table for the current layer. After opening this attribute table, if there is no field information, we can add a field by selecting the current field type and precision and click OK. Then a field will be added in this place. If it is an existing field and is no longer needed, this field can be de deleted. In terms of the attribute table, the most basic thing is to enter the attribute value. After we add the fields, click each object element of each field and then fill in its value accordingly. At the same time, the 3D window will automatically jump to this object, which is very efficient for us to view it. Of course, the software not only has the manual input method to fill element attributes one by one, but also provides some convenient attribute shortcut filling and calculation tools. For each surface feature, the most basic field may be the area. The software also provides the area calculation function. We can directly select the entire area field and then right click to calculate the area automatically. What needs to be noted here is that the calculated value of this area depends on the type of field we set. In regards to batch filling, I select a certain field, right click and click edit button. Within the first page, it indicates that the same value is filled in batches. For example, if this place is set to 25, then the current value of the entire field is 25. The other way to batch fill in values is to set a prefix for the current field on the second page variable value and then set the initial value and step size. For example, the prefix of this field is test. Then set the initial value and step size to 1. Click OK and the software will be prefixed with text. The initial value is 1 and it will be incremented at every interval of 1 so that batch assignment can be achieved. Of course, we can also add some underlines, etc. when setting. After setting the initial value and step size to 2, we can see the value filled at this time. Its prefix is test plus underline. The initial value is 2, and increments at every interval of 2, so that multiple elements can be quickly achieved. Its attributes are in a state of increasing or decreasing regularly and filling in the values in batches. This is the end of some basic operations of the software on the attribute tables. Thank you for watching.